Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. Today on the menu we are going to build more interstellar logistic stations. On Bedatari, for instance. Yeah, we are going to populate that with more drones and more miners and more assembly machines and the whole lot. We are going to create a whole lot of items there and send it back over to this world right here. Uh, before we actually begin with the uh, video, I just want to point out yet again the developers are really on point, uh, if you ask me. Each day when I start up Dyson Square program, there's a small patch that changes the little things and like one of the things that I find very annoying is that for instance these are the slower belts and I cannot go over them uh, just yet right now uh, they will try and fix that uh, in the upcoming patch so that will be uh, well before the 11th of February they want to uh, try and fix that but today like I said I want to have more interstellar logistics stations uh, across the globe also, I uh, wanna. I don't know if I can automate this quickly, uh, quick enough. Uh, I'd say. I mean, the items we have the items, so yeah, we probably could do that. We already automated this thing. The, these drones are already automated, but I also wanna automate these because we are going to need a ton of these. Uh, also, I really want to look further into um, this one, the real ejector. I mean, at this moment we have no sales going about and I want to have more sales. And you know, the last time in the last episode we had like 282 kilowatts of power. That isn't a whole lot, but power has become an issue in my factory. So I will also tackle that. Uh, just so that the factory is up and running with smooth energy. Another thing, um, when we are on uh, Bedatari 4, I believe it was, uh, we are going to uh, process uh, these items with the fire eyes. So we are going to create those items right there. We are going to send them over here. We will also get more hydrogen, which is perfectly fine, obviously. Uh, that can just go into the factory and probably maybe even uh, go in here. So what we will do then is just create this item there. That would be lovely. Yeah, and then send it over here. Yeah, uh, done deal. We are going to do that. Uh, obviously, we need to find the uh, optical grade crystals they are rare so yeah uh, don't know how fast we can find it let's make a little list we want to create this item there this item that means we have to create this item and that item as well um, yeah and then we are done and then we have these uh, solar cells awesome I mean I don't really need fire eyes right on this planet then there's no need for it because only this uses fire eyes, I believe. Like I said, quick and dirty. I mean, this is creating uh, the thrusters and then it will loop around and then this will create uh, this one. Maybe I will extend this one just a little bit, but uh, the thing is, and that's what I'm liking about this, is that everything is being supplied by the planetary logistics station and that's the power of it all i mean this is just a small cluster on this world like here we have a small cluster there as well um, and i like it and at this moment as you can see we already have 65 75 of these lovely logistics vessels so yeah that's the uh, the key uh, in going global right uh, just have enough of these items and just you know demand it you know request it by the way uh, there was a uh, person who posted a message on uh, my channel thank you for that by the way uh, thank you very much and uh, you know the thing with this game is that uh, 
in most cases you're like hmm what shall I do first right and he was was running into that problem as well like should I go for the titanium first or should I uh, upgrade my uh, world first and uh, I know that feeling man I really know the feeling like should I do something like that uh, something crazy like that it's I mean, creating a ton of stuff that I'm using right now and with two of those uh, big uh, big towers over there we are really doing the works but uh, this one isn't being used by the way uh, but this one is being used right but uh, what counts is that in the end uh, is there titanium on this world and I can say yes so that's that's a job well done and did we do something about base reorganization yeah we did well not the best but we did so yeah in total job well done and that's that's you know a thing to be proud of I mean that's weird to say I know but uh, yeah so ladies and gentlemen uh, everything is set up uh, I believe I got a whole lot of stuff and let's first check this interstellar logistics station we want to have this one here we want to have this one I hope we are going to create a whole bunch of those and uh, we are going to get these from that planet and this one also quick note look at how beautiful this is and it, after the little quick change it is working as you can see it's kind of stacked right here and it's backing up I could utilize this storage again but you know we are going away so I don't know if that's a smart ID let's get off uh, this uh, place let's get off this world and let's search for Beta Tauri and we found it and here we are ladies and gentlemen the camp cool so let me just create stuff and we'll be right back all right it is working sort of yeah it is working lovely so we will get a lot of graphene here uh, thing is and that is well i would say kind of weird to be honest uh, i had like 1100 <laughs> of these conveyor belts and look at this now I, ha I have six left aha so they are flying out that is good stuff I love it um, thing is uh, I think I have to go back right now to get myself some more of this uh, these logistic belts wow I did not think that uh, I would go that mad with this but yeah I mean there are a lot of conveyor belts here obviously uh, a tip for you all um, what I think you should do as well in your home base create one uh, interstellar logistics station right and just say okay I wanna uh, have this item and I am demanding it then the you don't have to bring everything with you and everything will come to this world right here so i think that would be a smart idea uh, to do uh, when you go out far and uh, just put it right here and say here you want to demand it and on your home world say you'll supply it and maybe also with different items to your choosing for those who are wondering what does the crystal look like well it looks like this on top of the tip I just gave you you don't have to max out this to 10,000 I mean that's a bit much you know I had like 1100 with me so let's say 1500 you can by the way steer while you're walking so just a little tip here so this makes it easier so when are we going to get out of this war? We are not getting out of the war. Why? Hmm. Anyhow, we are close. That was a good caps lock there. Yeah. Uh, it will use energy, obviously. So keep an eye on your energy. Just a quick thing. You can uh, see your uh, logistic, logistic vessels fly here. So yeah, that's nice. Like a little highway between me and Beta Tari. I like that. 
so and all these other stars are really eyeballing me as well so but that's 18 light years away we can go six i believe so home sweet home i like it energy is doing okay yeah i mean look at this this is uh, looking lovely isn't it a lot of drones flying around and everything is working accordingly um also if it's here yeah so i am using this now right now uh, to get the transport belts uh, up to Bedatari. i saw a, 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 a logistic vessel already go that way so yeah we are kind of okay uh, to be honest uh, honestly life gets so much easier with all these uh, planetary logistics stations uh, honestly i mean i was lacking this for uh, this one here i mean this isn't really working the best so i was lacking and well you know what i just say you know what give me some and he did so yeah cool stuff so for those who are watching this and know what this icon means please let me know i mean it says product stacking working stacking working not really sure what it means you know in other games i would say oh there's an upgrade available but that's something not possible in this game so please let me know uh i am back at Beratari, guys and uh, i just want to show off that well in transit there are 1600 I left quite uh, quite a long time ago so i wonder when it actually will uh, be delivered here but yeah uh, these are uh, covid times right so uh, it can take a little bit longer than usual however we have enough of these so we can go back to the opticals as you can see it is working and this is uh, filling up slowly which is absolutely good amazing love it so we are getting solar cells it is automated which is absolutely fantastic so yeah let's keep them coming and uh well it's too bad that all 10 are out now maybe we should actually just create this right here just another one so that it's only for the solar cells i am going to do that this maybe is a little bit buggy because these ships uh, left decades ago so and still not here i believe because there's nothing in storage right now and these have left a long time ago as well so yeah i wonder when they will get here so let me just quickly check if there is an upgrade for these uh, ships so what i find is that they can go faster which is nice so we'll enqueue that right away and this is using green so yeah might as well look into the green ones so it's going 50 percent faster which is which is nice and unlocks logistic vessel warp now that's what we need boys that's what we need so yeah i should have seen this earlier but thing is if you are going out of your own system and you want to do the same thing as i did make sure you get logistic carrier engine level four very important otherwise <laughs> it will take a long time because now at this moment they are doing what some people are <laughs> already did and uh, just <laughs> fly out on uh, uh, the high speed they can so that's why this is taking so long yeah it should have, i mean they could have told me this right uh, in some manner some way um, yeah <laughs> yeah the captains of these little uh, logistic carriers will probably be uh, well they will not survive because the trip is taking too long <laughs> oh, i'm sorry i'm laughing a little bit too hard i i reckon 
Now the logistic vessels can warp. But need to consume space warper. Hmm. So I reckon that those that are <laughs> taking the flight are kind of screwed, to be honest. So um, if I understand this correctly, I have to uh, make a whole lot of these space wrappers. You have unlocked the logistics oh, carrier hey, engine hi. level 4. It allows the logistics vessel to warp, but they will consume two space warpers back and forth to transport cargo. So needs to make sure there are enough space warpers in the interstellar logistics station at any time. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we definitely need to quickly automate that because yeah, we are we really need that. <laughs> and all I wanted to do was, you know, get my sales and have a lot of fun. Uh, so I just need to quickly in some manner create a whole lot of these warpers actually automate them in such a way that they can go up to Betatari and have one station perhaps one major station there that's filled with these items um, yeah so we need a whole lot of these and a whole lot of those so all right Let's get cracking, shall we? <laughs> so, phase one has been completed, like this right here, like that one right there. We are getting uh, these items from here, and we are importing uh, the diamonds, so fairly easy, everything, and it all goes into an interstellar logic system. Uh, logistics system and we'll say supply so if you feed it like this it will automatically fill this one uh, I don't know what the cap on this item is we will find out anyhow uh, what I think is lovely right now <laughs> is that we are automating this and I want to create I mean I have 116 here uh, but I want to set up these real injectors so yeah I reckon I reckon this will go to 50 I hope so no matter we will get those solar sails ladies and gentlemen and uh, at some point we will get a whole load of solar sails but we'll have to wait a little bit longer for those yeah and while I'm here I'm just going to set a few of these lovely guns right here is going to do this a little bit like that like so so here we are at Betatari um, we have a thousand in storage which is nice we don't have any of these anymore which is too bad obviously but I am going to uh, get that, then do this, not all of them, like so. I am going to request these right now, and um, let's say 500 is okay, remote demand, and 400 are in transit, that is good. I mean now they can warp so um, I hope this will go faster <laughs> now that these have the warpers now we can go back to uh, the world and uh, request our solar cells the item that we so much want cool stuff uh, I am not uh, a particular fan of these uh, interstellar logistics station that they need warpers I think it's a big hassle so hopefully they will change that because you know it's 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 a hassle a real hassle uh, because yeah or they should make it so that it's easier to distribute 
the warpers to the interstellar stations i mean if they do that i'm fine but now nah uh, this 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 isn't really the way how i like it by the way sometimes when you fly here you see yeah like you see <laughs> these are the ones that are in transit <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will take a long time uh, for them to get uh, on Shamali. So what this means right here, that a few of the logistic vessels have been able uh, to make the trip. Because, well, we have 3900 in storage and we remote this demand. Uh, so, yeah, that's nice. I mean, 4000 are in transit and when I took the trip back, I saw a lot of... Uh, solar cells <laughs> so yeah unfortunately we cannot use this one to get the solar cells so what i'm just going to do is quick fix and uh, create another of this right here so the secondary station next to that uh, one over here i mean this one will keep on going i will not request any more of this so hopefully uh, yeah, this at some point I will say zero here. Um, I'm just going to get this one uh, to get this the solar cells and say remote supply, please. Remote demand, that is. So, yeah, now they are going. So, hopefully, soonish I will uh, get my stuff. Then we can see how much power we are getting. So we have 9600 in storage. Let's uh, let's get them out, shall we? They are anxious. So let's uh, see. This is good, good, cool sign. Yeah, I like that. Here it comes. Lovely. This is this is a cool sight, isn't it? I love this. Um, with these uh, uh, real ejectors, you have to tell them which orbit they are going to shoot at. So, yeah, in this case, uh, we only have one orbit, so yeah, that's just the one, right? So, now we have to connect uh, all these uh, things. And they are shooting, not all of them, uh, unfortunately, uh, they are saying pitch limit don't really know what uh, the deal with that is but uh, four are working so lovely and look at the line right there isn't that lovely so uh, let's see already four megawatts uh, with 124 cells I mean those are a lot of cells for just a tiny bit of energy yeah so yeah is this worth it <laughs> not really sure so the more uh, continuous re they receive, the more uh, max output they will get, by the way. So uh, that is good. And at some point we will unlock a research and that we can get the photon generation and then we will get more uh, power even. So this slowly goes up per, per thing. So let's head back here, six, all right. I mean, there's a whole circle already. So what if I would say at an orbit like so? Uh, create. Now I will say to this one, go for that one. There you go. They will shoot for that one, and these will shoot for the f uh, number one, and these will shoot for a two. So, look at them shooting. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I mean, I love this. Oh, look at this sight. How many uh, energy are you? 40 megawatts already. Nice. Almost 450. That's a whole lot, obviously. 
but it is already uh, pretty populated right here and we can just keep on shooting these things into the air and get more energy right so uh, what's the energy level right now 202 megawatts ladies and gentlemen I am very very happy this episode took me a long time to record I, <laughs> I can tell you that and a uh, lot of uh, things learned hopefully when you see this video you know what to do and what not to do there are certain things you should be wary about like the the space warpers in the interstellar logistics system you should be wary about that because you know that kind of that kind of bowed me pretty hard to be honest so the amount of your solar sails has reached a certain scale oh and they have formed a dyson swarm around the star you should be able to clearly see it right now. To receive such energy, you have built a ray receiver to absorb the transmission, where Dyson Swarm can generate power simultaneously. Every solar sail launched for a certain life cycle. If you want to maintain the Dyson Swarm, you have to continue on injecting the solar sails. Already one step in front of you, buddy. I'm doing that. Well, we can uh, really populate this uh, thing right here. And there is even a, a little bit, uh, well, right there. That isn't populated just yet. So we will do that uh, very, very soon. Let's uh, have a closer look here. So, yep, the solar shields are here. Nice. Very, very nice. I like this. Yeah. I am very, very much liking this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with this goal uh, achieved, which I am quite happy about, actually, uh, we are, you know, doing very good on energy right now, and uh, 222 megawatts uh, is fairly okay, I would say, and we can increase that, obviously, uh, to when we create more orbits, you know, we can create very, very big orbits as well, so, yeah that is lovely so uh, yeah I think we did okay the video itself to create this video took me a whole long time can't really say what uh, what was the biggest problem uh, but I learned a lot like you need warpers in the interstellar logistics station so yeah that that was a kind of kind of annoying to be honest um, yeah to say the least to be honest <laughs> um, but yeah still you know ah look at that 400 in storage that means the first ones are here and the second one and the second one arrived and now oh, finally they are coming Whew, took them a long time but but they are home and uh, hopefully the captains are alive Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I like this. I like this very much. It's a beautiful sight, and this is also a very beautiful sight. And yeah, I can't wait to uh, build uh, on this and build further and create, for instance, this item here. So I think that will also give us more energy. Um, we're all set and done. I uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you learned something, and uh, most of all, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. For now, take care and bye bye. Quick outro, by the way. Uh, don't forget to build enough of these because otherwise, uh, these can only get like a, f uh, a few megawatts, I believe. So, create enough of them because now I've built the three. Now I'm at 260 megawatts, so yeah, and now I'm lacking the item. That's <laughs> that's too bad, right? Alright, bye!